meme people out there. It's T Tipo's Tuesday. Got that clip? I didn't get it. Anyway, today uh, we are establishing on that Friday AM a new cult religion. It is called Bishianity, and it is in the worship of our our man Jeremy Bischoff. But uh, Bishianity also has its perks because it gives you magic powers, just like this. I can change colors. It's pretty cool. But anyway, please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge what? to what? the flag. What that the... didn't work that time. How are you doing that? What's going on? Matt. Clay, stop staring at me. It's just bestiality that yeah, gives me power, okay? Attention juniors and seniors. Prompt ticket sales begin promptly at 2.45 this afternoon in room 116. Here are some tips to help you make this process easier for you. I don't know if that made sense. You must be present to purchase a ticket. If you have an EHS guest, they must also be present at the time you purchase the tickets. For your non-EHS prom date, you'll need a copy of their photo ID and the completed guest information form. Mr. Bischoff. Anyway, you will be assigned table seating according to the order for which you purchase your tickets, so be organized and purchase tickets at the same time as your friends. And finally, clear your obligations. Oh, and uh, don't forget your money. It's $60 per ticket. Checks should be made out uh, to EASD with class of 2019 in the memo line. This announcement is for any student who is taking an AP exam and is still owes money or balance to their fees. Please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP as final payments are due by Friday, April 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler. Now over to Tony. Why are you so close? To Tony with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say... Ah! Yoli Skapal, daughter of the Russian ex-spy Sergei Skapal, was, was discharged from the Salisbury District Hospital on Monday. She had been in the hospital for more than a month after an attempt on her life was made using a lethal gaseous nerve agent. Although Eula's treatment is not over, doctors say this point marks a significant milestone in her recovery. Her father is said to recover more slowly, but they are both expected to recover fully. On this day in history, the, White, the House of Wax opens, its, opens in theater in 1953. This movie was notable because not only was it the first horror movie filmed in color, but it was the first 3D film using a stereoscopic camera. Moviegoers had to use special glasses to watch film, a completely new concept for the time. Also, on this day in history, in 1970, Paul McCartney announced the breakup of the Beatles. And one more thing before we go, I have noticed that my good friend, oh my off God. camera, Ray Miller, has not had a date to prom, so ladies and gentlemen, if any of you are interested, please uh, hit her up. <laughs> now over to the lunch. All right. Well, for oh, today that. for lunch we have uh, we have a carni carnitas burrito bowl, grilled chicken pad thai with cheese. All right, Clay. We're not oh, going to pronounce this uh, time. Come Papa on. John's pizza. All right, fine. Bologna and cheese sandwich. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. <laughs> Buffalo chicken salad. All right, Claire, we're not going to mispronounce this time. Yeah. Fiesta Beyond. Steam broccoli. Clay, seriously. Grappe tomatoes. Uh, assorted fruit fruit. Slushy. <laughs> Slushy. Now it's sports. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Gaston, and I'm the Beast. Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. In sports results, base out wanted Solenko. Boys lacrosse won at home versus Twin Valley. Girls lacrosse lost at Twin Valley. And softball lost versus Solenko. 
The Mountaineer track and field teams came home from Snowy LS yesterday with their second straight dual meet sweep. Yeah, we did. Andrew Foster and Eli Bazanga led the boys with two wins apiece, but it took a complete team effort to pull off the 77-73 win. The boys team record now stands at two wins and one loss. The girls team had a little trouble handing the LS girls a 99-51 defeat. Mary Campbell, Jenny Young, and Faith Hirschberger paced the team with a pair of victories each. The Lady Mounts record now stands at three wins, zero losses. Congratulations to all track and field athletes on two great wins yesterday. Today in sports, baseball is home versus LS, boys lacrosse is away at Cacalco, tennis is away at CV, volleyball is home versus Mannheim Central, and girls lacrosse is home versus Cacalco. Now back to the main desk. Just a reminder, Thanks. be sure to reserve your tickets for this year's musical as they are selling fast. You can go to tinyurl.com slash effort the theater to reserve seats up, till, up until midnight tonight and then pay and pick them up during the box office hours. The box office will be open from 5 to 7 on Monday and Tuesday this week and two hours prior to the start of each show. The box office is located in the lobby of the auditorium. Mrs. Ludwig, Mrs. Ludwig will also be selling tickets in room 233 on Tuesday and Wednesday after school. Sounds a little sketchy, Mrs. Ludwig. You need to have your money with you at the time of purchase. For those tickets on those days. That's bad. At attention students of Effort High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop, stop down to Mr. Marzak's room or and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives for each student council grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You will need to collect 35 signatures from students in your grade. <coughs> 25, Clay. Oh, my it's bad. It's 20. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are we not mispronouncing things still? No. Nope. Oh, okay. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade or only, and your petition will be void. Or your petition will be void. I cannot talk this morning. That's okay. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a good, great leader, hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzok, Mrs. Eschman, or Senior Cirillo because they are the student council advisors. Elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. So stop down to see Mrs. Ditzler and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, April 13th. Well, that's it for us today, Evrida. I hope you uh, go support our new cult religion, and uh, join Christianity, all right? You can join any time. And also, uh, Except for between five and six. Yes, we have the man himself here. Anyway, have a great day. Hey, what the? You're over there.